Hello and welcome. We are in Endosdel SSF League. Uh, I didn't pick Hardcore uh, because I will probably push for 95 and maybe I will push one more character. I'm, I'm not sure uh, for the rewards, you know. So I am 92 right now. Uh, I'm in Leatherboard, I guess, but there are lots of gladiators. So I'm gonna talk about the build I'm using. Uh, first of all, I'm still 4 linked. Yes, <laughs> fuck my RNG. And I'm at depth 186, so 83 master level and still in a, on, a, on a 4 link, yeah. <laughs> so Bleed Earthquake, so actually I haven't played much Bleed character, so this is like a perfect time for me to test it on an SSF. <laughs> so first of all CJX, uh, I crafted this with Jack Fossils, I actually used some Contempts but got unlucky and finally used some Jack Fossils and crafted this one. This has like almost 300 DPS and it is enough right now. If I find something with Elder Base, uh, I will go for Bleed damage, probably more Bleed damage. Uh, but I need some fossils, obviously. I'm not sure if I have any right now. Let's see. I don't think I have. I don't even remember the name. Ah, I think this one. I'm not sure, but yeah. There's one with uh, bleed, uh, more damage, stuff like that on elder bases. So if I find any elder base eggs, I'm gonna craft that. Until that, I'm gonna hold on to my fossils and keep using this one. So shield, uh, some life and resistances and block chance. So currently I have, uh, let's see, 59% block. Um, if I get hit by something, thanks to gladiator, 8% more. So yeah, 87, something like that, block chance, almost capped. So the character is very tanky right now, I only died once after level 75, 80, something like that. Until that point I died like 3 or 4 times because I wasn't geared enough and I kept pushing down. But once I crafted this axe and found uh, a shield, because first of all uh, I was playing with the two-handed. Uh, so. Being a gladiator didn't help me at all, but once I found these, I died only once and it was like some random one-shot bullshit mechanic, I didn't even see what that, uh, what was it. So yeah, the character is very tanky right now, um, almost 6k life. So let's talk about all the items and I'm gonna talk some uh, about talent tree. So some life resist, so this is a SSF so don't expect much obviously, uh, again life resist. So just generic stuff, physical damage. Uh, my amulet doesn't even have physical damage right now. Uh, I need a better one. So vulnerability ring. So you can get these ones uh, from uh, physical rooms that has a red icon, so you can uh, spot it easily. Uh, vulnerability ring. I, I actually have like five or six of these, but this is the best right now. Um, life resist, normal speed. Just generic, generic stuff. Um, I actually have this one. Uh, bleed damage, some life, some physical, some resist. Uh, I actually want to use this, uh, probably gonna skip this. Uh, but I believe I need that mana leech because I'm not playing with a mana plus, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually trying to find a jewel with mana leech. So I have some jewels, but I didn't craft those yet. I'm not, I don't want to spend my currency um, fast enough, let's say. Because in Dell, uh, you don't find much chaos. So this is all my chaos right now. I'm not doing chaos recipe or something like that. So I don't want to rush, you know. So eventually I will use this close maybe or even find a better one, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Uh, I actually have a Stigin Wise. So this is the current belt I'm using. Not much life resist. I actually have a Stigin Wise which I'm gonna um, craft soon. Uh, where is it? I'm not sure if it's somewhere here, but. Yeah, here. So I will probably um, craft this one, but I still need an Abyss Jewel. Because I haven't found any Abyss rooms. I actually got this one from uh, Wall Outpost or Abyss City, something like that. I found it on, in a city, you know, these cities. This is a Primeval Chamber I just did. Um, yeah, you know the cities? Yeah, this one. So I found it somewhere here, I believe. So if I find an Abyss room and find an Abyss socket jewel, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna craft this one, yeah. Flasks, nothing special. I just freeze and curse, and the bleed is enough. I actually don't know why I still have this. I probably need something else here. Maybe a de defensive flask. Or maybe Sleep Knight for that smoke. I'm not sure. So 
I will figure that out today, hopefully. Um, I will give a pub link if you are curious, so I'm not going to talk about gems, because it's an SSF build, you know. Let's talk about the tree and why I am tanking uh, so much, and stuff like that. Uh, first of all, we are uh, going for some block uh, stuff on the tree, obviously. Delete here. Uh, this one is for Seismic Cry, because Seismic Cry basically gives uh, 5 times. Uh, normally it is 4, but with Seismic Cry it is 5 times, so you can use um, some Exert attacks uh, on Earthquake. Because Aftershock deals 150% more damage with hits and ailments, this is why the Earthquake deals so much bleed damage. So even on a 4 link, uh, I can just run um, 83 monster level depths. Yeah. Uh, some elite monsters die a little slow, obviously, but if they are close together, let's just do one push before uh, talking about hidden tree. To show you the build. So, Smith Cry. Sometimes Endurance Cry to get some Endurance Charges. As you can see, the explosion actually carries you long way. So the elites sometimes, you know, take some uh, time, but if I can spawn some monsters, oh, uh, they will die faster because of the explosion. You see, it got deleted. Most monsters don't even move that much, so unfortunately, uh, so that's why it takes some time to kill some elites because I'm on a four link, obviously. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, let's talk about talent tree, and that will be it. So the main reason I went for this area, most people don't even go here, but this is SSF and I don't want to die much because I want to push to 95 as soon as possible. I went for this life wheel and wind dancer uh, because this has avoid elemental ailments. And also this one here, avoid elemental ailments, shock avoid and avoid elemental ailments. So I want to avoid most of the ailments, you know, uh, we are already freezing moon just to be safe, but uh, I don't want to get shocked that much. Right now I have 70% shock avoidance, which is very good, because there are some monsters in Delves, uh, Delves that uh, they have a sonic boom attack, something like that. The monster is just you know, screaming from its mouth, uh, you probably know that monster. Uh, that one shocks you easily and deals a lot of damage. And there are also obviously uh, some uh, mods. Let's see if I have any... Yeah, monsters deal extra physical damage as lightning. So you want to avoid shock as much as possible, so, or you can even use a flask, I'm not sure, uh, but this is what I went with. And it also did, has 1% uh, all maximum resistances, so currently I have almost, you know, resistances enough that uh, it's like I am wearing a lower view chest, no? Plus of resistances, maximum. That's why I went this. Um, if you can use a shock flask, maybe I will do that, I'm not sure, uh, you can dump this. But still here, and wind dancer. Uh, if you haven't been hit recently, you take less damage, so it's sometimes, you know, good enough. Yeah, that's fine. So, Constitution, uh, Shitty Jewel, Life. So, I'm wearing stance for stun immunity. Um, actually, if you block, you don't get stunned thanks to Gladiator, but this is just for some extra safety. Because there are lots of monsters and this is a one-handed shield build, so my attack speed isn't like super fast or anything. Sometimes when I leap in monsters, I can get stunned, so I cannot attack, you know. So this is just to be safe. We don't have much evasion anyway, so uh, this isn't very important that I uh, cannot evade stuff, you know. Uh, more Warcry, Resolute Technique obviously, for not to miss. X-Wheel, uh, the top portion has bleed duration, bleed chance, stuff like that, and more physical damage. And bleed inflict uh, damage faster. So this part is the most important, this bottom part doesn't give that much DPS, so it's probably based off uh, points, but this has onslaught, uh, if you want to be faster, uh, just go for it, but this overall gives very little DPS. So endurance charge, and this has also some regeneration, that's why I only picked this one, um, maybe if I go for 94, I'm not sure, maybe I will get this one, but I will probably go for life, I'm not sure doesn't even matter, and the most important stuff here, 
So this one has physical damage with shield while holding shield, so this gives you DPS and also some block chance, very good. Uh, to you know uh, increase your both spell and attack block. And finally, 5% chance on gain an endurance charge on kill while holding a shield. So I'm already using endurance cry from time to time, but this helps you to you know uh, get some extra endurance charges and also gives DPS and block so overall very powerful node. And finally, fortify. I actually got this recently because I forgot actually. So fortify effect, fortify effect, armor, fortify effect. So even be uh, to be you know uh, even tankier. So yeah, this pretty much sums it. And uh, I am also using right now orb of chances because I'm not lucky on five links. I actually found like four five links and both and all of them were evasion base, so unlucky. So I will just you know uh, <laughs> trying to get something. I'm not. I don't want to use my fuses um, so fast, you know. So I'm still trying to get some better uh, items to fuse. And yeah, finally, I'm using Orb of Chances right now on Belly of Beast, so full uh, Virum scale. Yeah. So just this one. Maybe I pronounced it wrong. I'm not sure. So this is what we want to Orb of Chance to get a Belly of the Beast chest, hopefully. So that can be good. So yeah, uh, well, once I hit 95, uh, I will probably uh, make an up, uh, update video. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.